Hey guys, Coach Sue and Coach Alex here with Physique Development. And today we are gonna be going over how to bias your quads in a leg press. If you haven't caught our most recent video going over how to bias your glutes in a leg press, then definitely go check that one out. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what your favorite leg movement is. When talking about biasing certain muscle groups, one really important note to take home is that no muscle works in isolation. So because we are biasing quads here doesn't mean that the glutes are completely out of this movement, just that we have more of an emphasis and a bias on the quads as a whole. And the way that we make that happen is all about the setup and the foot placement. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. I'm gonna have my very handsome model go ahead and take a seat. I'm gonna have him go ahead and bring his feet up on this foot plate. Now, when we're looking at the foot placement, we really want to have these closer down towards the bottom. Now, I will go ahead and put a little asterisk there that it might change based on your personal limb lengths or whatever angle that this foot plate or your leg press is at. For our personal one with a squat press, he is going to have his feet more towards the bottom. And you also see that his heels are slightly hanging off and that's okay. We just want to ensure that a majority of the foot is in contact with the plate because we want to have that stability and we want to ensure that we're pressing through the whole foot as we are pressing the plate away from us. Now, as far as the width of his feet, they're going to be around hip width distance apart or a tiny bit wider. And the reason for this is just going to be what's going to be comfortable for you to be able to bias that knee flexion. So another thing you might've heard before is that your knees shouldn't go past your toes ever. And we wanna keep in mind that it's okay for your knees to go past your toes. It just depends on what you are focusing on biasing. So if you are biasing glutes, you don't want those knees to go past your toes, but since we are biasing quads, that is completely a-okay. So what we're gonna focus on next is going to be the rest of the setup. And it's gonna be making sure that he pulls himself firmly into the seat. We don't wanna have that pelvis rotate or those hips pull off of that seat. The next thing is we wanna ensure that our core is braced as we're going through this movement. And as he goes ahead and unracks this weight, one thing we wanna think about is as you're pressing that plate away, you're focusing on driving your back into that seat and also thinking about pressing through the midsole of your foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Alex go through a few reps here. Now, something you might notice with Alex's foot is that the heel is slightly hanging off. And this is something that we would not recommend if you are more of a beginner or intermediate lifter. But if you are more advanced like Alex and feel comfortable, then this foot positioning is going to allow him to have that greater knee flexion. The last thing I'll talk about with his foot placement is going to be the width of his feet. And we want to focus on these being about hip width distance apart. Now they can be a little wider than this if you do find that you're running into issues with your range of motion with them only hip width distance apart. Now when he does take this little bit wider stance, he is going to get more recruitment from his adductors as well. Now if you're going through this movement and you're really struggling with your ankle mobility, you can go ahead and put on a weightlifting shoe that is going to have a slight heel that is going to help you out. If that still isn't helping or you don't have a shoe like that, then we would recommend going to a barbell back squat or some type of lunge to be able to bias the quads. Thank you so much for being the model, Alex. And that is gonna wrap up how to make sure that you're biasing the quads in a leg press. And if you feel a little bit unsure while you're watching this and feel like it would be so helpful to have someone take a look at your exercises, then you can go ahead and hit the inquiry link down below and we can get on a call and see if you're gonna be a good fit for physique development coaching, where one of the things that we offer is being able to go through form execution with you. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.